Hey, Buzzheads, welcome to the 70s Buzz Podcast. I'm Curtis Tucker. And I'm Todd Wheeler, bringing you our memories, or lack thereof, of growing up in the 70s. We are not a history podcast. We just want you guys to know that. Sometimes we get things wrong, and if you listen to us long enough, you're going to be screaming at your device trying to give us the right answers. Listen up as we recount growing up in the Midwest and our unique experience. Go to 70sbuzz.com for more info and leave us your thoughts. Let us know if you guys have any show ideas, if you'd like us to uh, get you on as an advertiser. And don't forget, please leave us reviews on your favorite podcasting apps. sure it works okay we are live we are live so i gotta go to here and find it come us. on man better hit the reach. come on man oh, oh man. i don't know where i don't know where it went did you find you lost it yeah well i went to this oh, oh poop oh well i was so close i could see it <laughs> customer <laughs> reviews just right there it was right there yeah. first of all let's unplug all this crap let me see if i can hang on i gotta do this over here too Okay, so we are um, Facebook Live. We're we are Facebook Live in. We are video in. Here we are. Here we are. We are there. Got the spinny thing of death. The spinny thing of. No, oh, we don't want the spinny thing of death. <laughs> and you're close there. <laughs> well, because I've got to hold. The okay. reason I did that because I've got to hold stuff up. So. Gotcha. Oh, now I'm getting all the notes. John John Bird sent me a friend request. Oh, he did. Yeah. I just now know because I just remembered us all. Very cool. Anybody checking in? Uh, howdy, howdy, yeah. Buzzheads. Uh, who else? Who else checking in here? We're uh, we have not started the podcast yet. We're getting everything set up for tonight's show. Is kind of exciting. We got a lot of ooh, stuff ooh, going ooh. on. Ooh. All kinds of surprises and show. it's like show and tell. It's it's seventies bus show and tell, Todd. I remember show and tell. I think <laughs> I think next month will be your show and tell. Why is that? Well, because this is my show and tell. I got stuff to show. Oh, today. you do? I got oh. a couple. You know. Oh. Cool. Okay, cool. Some of the stuff related to uh, last week's episode. Okay. Well, that's probably why it was being so slow because of how I started. Are we are we podcasting? Yeah, we're recording. Yeah. Have you done the intro though? No, you ready? Well, yeah, we better. Yeah, let's get the intro, or we're gonna have people are gonna be like, <laughs> "Where's the intro?" <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you mean that intro? That intro. Johnny Schultz. Who's Johnny Schultz? I've been getting all kinds of friends. Everybody wants to be my friend. Everybody wants to be Todd's friend. You guys be Todd's friend. Bam! 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 It's uh, not in service, sorry. It's not in service. Oh, no, I saw that. Ah, uh, who's watching? Who's watching? How come I'm not seeing the comment section? Is I don't know. Is it not popped up yet? If you're, if you're commenting, oh, here, I got, uh, I'm here. Kurt's here, Kurt in Seattle. We got the package. Hey, Kurt. We got the package, Kurt. It's sitting right here next to my chair. We have not opened it yet. We don't know. We don't know what's we in We don't there. know what's in the Kurt from Seattle package that we got today. Whatever it is, we thank you very much. We do thank you. That's many. actually our, that's our first. That's like our first gift, I think. Uh, is it a gift? Well, I don't know if it's a gift. Uh, contribution? Contribution. We've, we've had some offers, but nothing, I don't think, tangible in our hand. Offers? What kind of offers? Douglas, hey, thanks for checking in, Douglas. Sean, howdy, Sean. How's it going? How come I'm not seeing comments over here? I don't know. I'm seeing them on my phone. Fortunately, I'm close enough I can read them today. But, oh, well, that's, that's my man to go with that. But I can't watch, I can't. I mean, once I get a new one, the other one disappears. So if we get too many in a row, I can't, okay. Ooh, can't see him. But uh, oh, crap. it's not a bomb, Kurt says. So we are good. So if you guys are listening to the podcast, we uh, this is one of those distracted episodes. <laughs> uh, Will, hey, Will, what's up? 
We are, uh, thank you for checking in. And uh, so we've got podcasts going. There's we've got a, a video going for YouTube. And we've got Facebook Live all at the same time. Uh, there it is. Okay. Why is, why is, why is, why is. Todd's, oh, there we go. Howdy. Howdy. Okay. Up. Okay. I'm going to get some house cleaning out of the way real quick before I lose this. Um, we got a new comment over there on iTunes. We need you guys to go to iTunes, leave us a comment and some stars. And L Nat 44 left us a comment and it says, fun trip. Really enjoy this podcast. It's a fun trip down memory lane for me. Brings back a lot of awesome memories from my youth. Plus these guys make it fun. Thanks Nat. We uh, greatly appreciate that. You guys go to uh, iTunes. And you can also call us up like Dave does and Kurt does every now and then. 580-541-3805 is our hotline. And email us, which a lot of you email. And unfortunately, all my phones are tied up, so I can't read any email right now. But uh, buzz at buzzheadmedia.com. You can uh, send us email there. And I think that's my housekeeping. Uh, and also share. Share this right now with all your friends and everybody and like I just did. So. Yeah, we, we may start taking this uh, the live open forum a little more serious. And uh, <laughs> there's Dave. Dave checked in. What's up, Dave? And uh, so Dave had some questions. Uh, we always like getting Dave's questions out of the way. Um, I'm moving back to the house I lived in before because um, my in-laws put a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> of renovations into it, and the price didn't go up a hundred thousand dollars. So it's a good deal. It's a good deal. And then what else did he ask? Um, mm, something about oh, local. How come we don't have more local listeners? Oh, that's a good question. Enid, Enid is a little weird. Enid doesn't understand Twitter, and Enid doesn't understand podcasts, and so. And and Todd and I don't make it very easy. So when we <laughs> when we tell people to check in to the '70s Buzz podcast, everybody says, "Where can I watch it at?" And we because like right now you can watch us, so people get confused. Yeah. A lot of people in Enid don't know what a podcast is, and then Todd and I are always visual, so they think it's a video that you can watch. And then we have to try to explain that no, a podcast is really something you only listen to, and then they get confused. And so uh, yeah, so hardly I don't. I doubt very, if, if you listen to us, if you're listening to us on the podcast side right now and you're from Enid, uh, somehow communicate that and let us know. Yeah. Or just come by the house and yeah. jump on Get a beer. Say, ah. Get a beer. Have a beer. So I don't, I don't have any beer. In my house. Oh, you don't? Ooh. You got some, uh, some, uh, bourbon. Bourbon. I may have a little bourbon. I got some vodka. Oh, vodka. I like vodka. Uh, some Tito's, uh, I'm out of Captain Morgan. Okay, so some Somebody news. Drag it off. I got some news. News. I found my tin. <gasps> yes, you did. I found my tin with I all. Did not, I did not find mine. So I've got my Elvis Presley carpet, shag carpet, which I didn't bring tonight. That'll be a whole episode, probably. No, I, I got too much. I I had all kinds of stuff I could have brought, and I'm like that. We could go three hours. So so that one. Um, yeah, I know. So that's what we're thinking about, Will, is doing more video on every podcast. That's what, See, that's where I'm going with this whole video thing. So, we'll news coming soon. Okay, so, um, shall I jump into why I was looking for my little tin with all the cool stuff in it? Sure. Um, but first... But first... But first... But first... You know we never went live on the 80s Buzz podcast? No, we only did like six episodes. I know. And why would we prefer to go live on the 70s Buzz podcast, Mr. Wheeler? Well, because it was the greatest decade known to man! Yes, it was. So, okay. So, I went to Fayetteville a couple weeks ago, and I told you guys I bought my first record since, I don't even know, like, it had to be early 80s. And so, I'm going to divulge the album that I bought, oh yeah, the old uh, Roll Out the Thunderbird. Um, I'm a divulge the album that I bought. I, is Christopher Todd checked in yet? Uh, He's gonna miss this. Maybe I should wait for Christopher Todd to get in, but. Uh, I don't know, let me see if I can figure out who's watching. If he, uh, we can redo it if he chimes in. Uh, yeah, so Dave, so my mom has a 67 Thunderbird that's one of those garage finds. It's sitting in her garage and hasn't been driven in 
at least 10, 20, oh, 20 I mean, 20 yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a long time. And so, um, so Dave wants us to go do a uh, podcast episode from the Thunderbird, which we may uh, have to do one of these days. So oh, looks like Facebook rolls over there. Uh oh. <laughs> we'll just keep we're still we're still live here. Yeah, we're still live. It's, yeah, actually, it's probably my laptop. Yeah. So okay. So uh, the album that I bought in Fayetteville here it is, and the reason why I bought it, and the reason I needed my stuff that was in the tin is this. And if you're just listening, I'll have to describe it. Okay. And you knew, you knew what I I think you knew. Cheap trick. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I so here's the cover. The front cover is Cheap Trick in color, but I actually like the back of it better. So if you guys are listening to this, you need to go to Facebook or YouTube, and I'll tell you where on YouTube here one of these days. Um, the, the back of the album is black and white, and it's got the drummer and Rick Nielsen, and then the front is in color with the two rock and rollers and the long hair. But if you'll notice, right there up by Rick's head, there's a pick. There's a guitar pick. That is a pick that I got. Rick threw it out in the audience. At, I was at a concert. It was Fog Hat, Cheap Trick, and REO Speedwagon, all at the Ooh. Zoo Amphitheater in oh, Oklahoma outside, City. Outside. It was outside. And Rick Nielsen threw that pick, and I've had it in my little tin box all these years. And I thought, you know, what good is it doing me in a tin box? Nothing. 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 And so I have uh, framed my, I took the album out so I can listen to it, oh, yeah. but the cover is uh, in, in a frame now with the pick. And so when people, and I'm going to put that up in my office, so. Bunny. 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 I remember that album cover. Woo Pig Suey, yeah. So uh, my daughter. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You said you listened to the album? What did you listen to it on? No, I didn't listen. I, I'm going to listen to the Oh, album. I thought you said you listened to it. No, I, I left it out so I can listen to it. So, um, uh, Hey, Cindy. No, we're not live on, we're not live on YouTube. Are no, we? we're not live on YouTube yet. Uh, Don't but, you have to have like a thousand? I, I'm not sure. I think I can go live. But um, the thing is, we're videoing this with another camera. So we're going to have a high quality video that you guys can watch later. Or if you miss this, because trying to reuse this Facebook video is awful. Yeah, the they, quality is, is awful. Yeah, they dummy it down. Awful. So anyway, so that was my framed Cheap Trick album with the Cheap Trick pick. And then I'm going to get a Elvis album and I'm going to do the same thing with the Green Shag carpet and stick it in a frame and then I'll have those two framed. So, so you must have been fairly close if you got a pick. Yeah, oh yeah, I was right. Yeah, I went right up by the stage. Oh. oh yeah, he yeah he just he tossed it out and it landed on the ground. Didn't catch it, but I saw it flivered to the ground and I jumped down there and got it. Awesome. So an official pick from Rick Nielsen right here. Very cool. So okay, so and then I told you guys I was going to unveil my new T-shirt, which Todd hasn't even seen yet. Uh, if you don't like the weather in Oklahoma, wait a minute. And uh, so it got cold. Hey. Christopher Todd. Hey, there he is. Hey, okay, Christopher Todd, did you did you see the uh, the unveiling of the album? He probably didn't. Oh, I bet he did. Bun E. Carlos, maybe he did. Um, so anyway, so here is the T-shirt. Are you ready? I'm gonna, Apparently did. Had a feeling it was going to be cheap trick. It was. Okay, are you ready, Todd? Oh, you're wearing it. Todd, yeah, Todd gets to see it first. <laughs> I get to well, see yeah. it. Okay, so the point was, it's cold, so I had to put on a jacket. So, uh, so. Yeah, it's like 40 degrees this morning. Are you ready? Yeah. Spacely space <laughs> Spacely space rockets. Okay, can you're you get to? How are you gonna do that without bumping everything? Can you guys see it? Spacely space rockets. That's pretty cool. Spacely space rockets, right there. That's my new T-shirt. Can you, you can kind of see it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Spacely space space rockets. Sprockets. Sprockets. Yeah, sprockets. So spacely space rockets. From your old from the old Jetsons. Now we're we gonna. Print those up, or you did? No, that's just oh, no. one off. That's just a one. No, well, that I mean, somebody sells those. Oh, okay. I didn't print it. No, oh, I bought okay. it. Yeah, I saw it, and I thought uh, so. Yeah, CDT in the house. Flash Todd. I just flash Todd. So anyway, that was the unveiling <laughs> of my T-shirt, and uh, we do need to get a decade greatest decade moment. Yeah. So new T-shirt on the way. Um, we're gonna up. We're gonna up our game here pretty quick. We're gonna have more videos. Let's do it. We're going to have a YouTube channel somewhere. I can't, I'm not sh quite sure where that's going to be yet. And new t-shirt designs. And we just found out yesterday, 
uh, as soon as we agree to terms, I think oh. we're, we're going to have a, another retail store here in Enid where we're going to sell our t-shirts. So if you guys should ever come to Enid, um, you can pop in and buy our t-shirts there. Yeah. We stay at the new hotel downtown. Yeah. So, so what do we want to do next? Do we want to... I don't know what all you got to unveil. I've got comic books that Dave has been. Uh, he just show Dave the comic books, and then we'll see what uh, what Kirk from Seattle sends us. Okay, uh, okay. So, and if you're just tuned in, uh, Kirk from Seattle sent us a care package that we have not even opened yet. We just, we wanted to wait till the show to open it. Um, so I'm going to go through some comic books. I got. I think I've got 200. I said 200 comic books. I only brought a sampling just to kind of jog your memory. I don't want the, I don't, if you don't like comic books or you didn't collect comic books, you might be a little bored. So I'll try to go through them fairly quick. And uh, if you're listening on the podcast, uh, we appreciate you guys hanging in there. Since this is such a visual episode, I apologize. Um, but so my t-shirt is blue with a really cool, um, Spacely logo, um, and kind of a Jetson looks kind of like a, the Jetsons look. So anyway, okay. So comic books real quick. So highlight. My most of my two hundred comic books. Dave, I, wants, Dave wants to know where you got your T-shirt. Oh, good question. I'll have to. Uh, it po- it literally popped up on Facebook, and I saw it. and I said, "I want that," so I bought it. I don't even know what the store was. I'll have to. It'll pop up a hundred times in the next. Oh, week. it still does. It yeah. ke- it keeps popping up. I'll I'll email you or I'll Facebook you the um, the company, Dave, and they've got a whole bunch of other shows and seventies things too. So, okay, so comic book wise. I'd say at least 70% of all my comic books are either Superman, Superboy, Lois Lane, um, Jimmy Olsen. I forgot to get mine out. Supergirl. I mean, everything super related. So anyway, so if you don't know much about comic books, uh, the two main comic book people were DC and Marvel. And when you're talking DC, for and I never, I have, I've never looked this up to find out why, but there was two different Superman comics, and they were almost exactly the same, but one was called Superman. So here's a, I think this is one of my 15th center. I have a ton of 12 cent comic books. I got a lot of comic books from the 60s, and even some from the 50s. So most of them were Superman, but then at the same time, there was a whole series called Action Comics, which were almost the same thing as Superman, but it was just like you got two, you could buy Action and you could buy Superman. So. Anyway, so that's a 12 cent um, action. So that's what most of my comic books are, is Superman and action. Were they at the same time? Yeah, same time. You could go in the store and buy action and Superman at the same time. It must be like Spider-Man nowadays. So like there's two people that say, two, two companies that say they own Spider-Man. One's Marvel and one's Sony. Well, they, these are both DC. Um, I think that it was just, I think, a way for them to get more comic books out. Um, so anyway, but then in uh, then I also have, like I said, I've got a lot of 12 cent Lois Lanes and a lot of 12 cent Jimmy Olsons, and uh, these are really cool. Um, I love the love the comic art on those. And if you can't see, um, if you're listening to the podcast, they're uh, just kind of those old timey cool, you know, like the Lois Lane one. She's like half. She always, I thought she was topless. She, she's second. always in a bikini, but she's half woman, half horse. And uh, about? Superman says, "Great Krypton, a magic spell has turned Lois into a centaur. Oh no, she'll never be human again. Oh no. So, oh, I bet he saves the day. I bet he saves the day. Um, another thing that I found, I bet I have at least half a dozen Tarzan. I didn't know oh. I." Didn't, ah. didn't know I had so many Tarzan comic books and then. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Shelly. She has a bunch of 12 cent ones. And then, um, again, Superboy. So anything super, super, it's kind of like everything I do now has got the word buzz in it. Yeah. If it had the word super in it in the 70s, I bought uh, I bought the comic. And so uh, so there's all my super. Oh, and here's here's a cool one. This one's kind of different. And I do not know. I think I got this from Brendan Hedges. Oh, yeah? I don't know where he got it from. This is a Mexican in Spanish, Superman comic book. The whole Don't ask the Avon. The whole comic <laughs> book is uh, I whatever you said. I never took Spanish. So I think that means do you know where Avon is? No. I, I hope it, that's what it means. Oh, but it's just somebody. Don't, yeah, don't, 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 don't. And then here's a cool comic book. I wish it had the cover, but it it, it literally is photographs from a three stooge three stooges um, in orbit movie, and they oh, wow. turned all the they turned photographs from the movie into a comic book. And so that's kind of cool. Very cool. 
cool. That's kind of one of my one of my cool ones. Uh, who didn't read Richie Rich? Oh man, we love Richie Rich. Everybody just dreamed of being Richie Rich. Richie Rich, uh, here he is on a snowmobile. This one, and I noticed that Richie Rich is they had different ones as well. Like this is Richie Rich Bank Book, and then there was one called Richie Rich Millions, oh. and then there was like Richie Rich this, right? I never noticed that. Yeah, so, and then this is a really cool, I brought this one because this came out in 1976. Oh, Superman 2001. All about the future. And they were talking about what would it be like if Superman came to Earth in the future, like let's say around 2001, and really the only thing that I, so I flipped through the, the comic book, and like the only thing that they predicted back in 1976 that you could really tell was People were watching TV in floating chairs, which, oh, really? do we have floating chairs to watch TV in? No, I don't think so. So we didn't get there. But anyway, I, I, I thought that was pretty cool because that I bought that in 1976. Anti-gravity anti chairs? Yeah, anti-gravity chairs. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. cool. Uh, we got some Walt Disney. So what, one of my favorite uh, Disney cartoon movies, 101 Dalmatian. I have the cartoon version, and then I also have uh, a little bit of Herbie. Oh, speaking of... Uh, 101 Dalmatians, they got a new movie coming out. Called. Number 53. I think I said 43. Yeah. He's, he's yeah number, I did, oh, yeah, by the way, I did. I saw that the other day. It's like, oh, I got a crook curse. He, he number number 53. I I bet people on the video aren't seeing anything. I bet I'm not holding those over there close enough. Uh, but they got a new movie, Corilla, coming out. It's about the beginning. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, Corilla. it's got, what's her? Uh, uh, that one chick, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then there was a comic book. Um, they're called Classic Illustrated Junior. This was The Elves and the Shoemaker. Kind of a different, almost like a kid's book. And then, and these were from the 50s. These are 1950s. And then there was one of uh, Cheyenne, like an old western. So they turned basically an old western series into a comic book. And just so you guys know, I was not uh, just Superman all the time. Uh, here's a Batman to prove that I did read a little bit of Batman. I had some Iron Man. Will wants to know where your Star Wars stuff is. Hey, I'm almost there. <laughs> and then we look, I even have a Marvel. I don't have many, I do not have many Marvel comic books. I was more of a Marvel. I have to tell you, they're almost everything I have is DC. Okay, so here we go. And it's a Marvel. Ah, well, yeah, it's Marvel, it's Star Wars. Number two, Star Wars. I got number two. I, got, I didn't know there was even a comic book, I, so I missed out on number one. So there's my Star Wars number two. Somebody tell me how much that's worth. And then, about the same time, they came out with Godzilla. Guess what episode I got, or what, what book I got? Godzilla number 32. Number two. Number two. I got Star Wars number two and Godzilla number two. Oh. Because you guys know, if you know me at all. Number two is my number. Because I, when I got to go number two, I got to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, comic book days. Uh, everybody, I think everybody read Archie. Yeah. And, so, and again, this is like life with Archie, which I think is different than some of the other Archies. But there is life with Archie. And then as a kid, as a very young kid, in the early 70s, I did like a comic book better than Superman. And it was oh, my, sad sack. It was I my, love sad sack. It was sad sack. sack. My dad was in the military. Uh, it was an Air Force, but uh, I don't know. For some reason, I just I fell in love with sad sack as a kid. And I think I had like tons of sad sack. You know, as a, as a little kid, I had tons of sad sacks and baseball cards. And I, I kind of remember one day my mom throwing them all away. Like, hey, we need to, we need to clean up your room. Let's the, and so. Back in the day, you know, before you knew you needed to collect them, yeah. I think she just threw them all out. So my whole huge collection of sad sack, I think, went in the trash. Uh, Dave wants to know if you're selling any of these. I don't know. Make me an offer. I don't know. I can't sell them all because I sold all my albums and I'm regretting it. Um, oh, you heard back from what's I haven't heard from uh, Mike Stuber yet. Uh, here's Hot Stuff. Got to Remember Casper and Hot Stuff and mm -hmm. Little Lulu and... That whole game. Wasn't Hot Stuff wasn't he like magic or something? Uh, oh, the devil. Oh, the devil, yes. Hot Stuff was the devil, yes. yeah. Or a little demon guy. I remember him, yeah. He was kind of a nice nice dude. Though. Yeah. I wonder how come they haven't come out with a movie version of him yet. Well. Okay, last two comic books. Uh, these, these comic books were made off of uh, a movie and television. So here's, I got a John Wayne El Dorado. They, they basically took the movie and turned it into a comic book. And then one of my favorites... 
Hogan's Heroes. I know nothing. And it says, uh, I, Schultz, an idiot? <laughs> and uh, he says, you, Schultz, are an idiot. And then Bob Crane <laughs> says, uh, Schultz is an idiot. And he says, three out of four agree. Schultz is an idiot. So we'll keep him. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. So. Uh, anyway, they're, they're, that's basically kind of a, a cross-section of my comic book collection. Very cool. Very yeah, cool. who who doesn't want a comic book with uh, John Wayne on cover? I don't I don't have one. I Okay, so last week, like right after our podcast last week, I dove into all my stuff looking for my Elvis carpet and I found a whole bunch of other stuff too. You didn't find your Elvis carpet, no, but, but I found I found my comic books. How many comic books do you have? Not very many. Probably 30 or 40. Oh, maybe, well. maybe. Maybe. Are they like old, old or No, just... no, they're old, yeah. Oh, okay. They're old and they're not near they're not sleeved or anything so uh, but I would go if I, I don't want to get up you know, yeah we, we shake earth, earth, earthquakes <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, but I did wow I was in John Wayne's hometown the day he died so Whoa. well there was a girl just a well that was uh, wrong Reagan, sorry to say there was a girl here there was a nurse that was I was thinking it was John Wayne but it was Ronald Reagan she was his nurse so last week last week we talked about we were talking about albums yep right and I'd mentioned that, you know, went to the radio station. And you swiped the, the throwaways out of the trash can? Yeah, there. I found it. Casey's Top 40 right there. Yeah. So, and then what it is is, so when you get it open, I'm going to set something off. There's actually a, a, a playlist. Oh, cool. And then, then they're just generic albums. And they're thin. Feel how thin that is. Real thin. Oh yeah, but it's got all the all the top forty songs of that week on there. So Casey did not have to queue up album after album. They just sent him this album, and he could just play one song. Yeah, and so these all these went all to the local radio stations all over the country every week, and then they just throw them away. And I think they used. I think they're supposed to destroy them, and but you know, like I said, you wouldn't want to go two weeks in a row because it'd basically be the same. Yeah. But that's pretty cool to have, yeah. especially with Casey's bigger. And um, and then a few of you I noticed have been talking about Casey Kasem. Christopher Todd had mentioned some station or something where you could hear old Casey Kasem um, top forties from the seventies. And uh, I told him, and he may have already known, but um, Sirius, the seventies channel on the weekends, also plays yeah. Casey's. Uh, whatever week it is, they'll pick a year. And they'll say this week in 1977, and they'll play Casey Kasem's top 40 of that week from. And it's, I mean, it's so cool to drive around, especially if I'm on a trip to like Oklahoma City or Arkansas, yeah. to listen almost the whole way of Casey Kasem's top 40 from the 70s. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, very, 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 very cool. Yeah. And they play. He plays some songs. I'm like, I had never even heard that song in my whole life. <laughs> Like where did that song go? Um, apparently, it was on top forty. Yeah, it's but there were a lot of there were a lot of songs that just got the top forty and then dropped back yeah. off, and you never saw them. Yeah. Or, you know. Oh, iHeartRadio. Yeah, so iHeartRadio, Casey Kasem. Yeah, they got that on there. So you guys check that out if you are huge fans of the seventies, and uh, if you're listening to this podcast or watching this uh, show, uh, obviously you are. I don't know about. I don't think Shelley's a huge fan of the seventies. Oh well. <laughs> Shelly, you know, we will we'll convert her to the greatest decade known to man. Okay, so are we ready to do Kurt from Seattle's box? Yeah, let's do Kurt. Let's do Kurt's it. Kurt's box. Okay, so I would do a drum roll, but it'd make the camera go straight. Yeah, and this was like out of the blue. I don't. He just uh, he asked for an address, and I am now cutting the box. Would even open? So we're opening the box right now. Did something jump out? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to cut anything, so I'm being... Don't cut your finger! Ow! Oh, cool. Something looks cool already. Okay, so if you're listening, you're just as good as anybody. Nobody can see what is in here. I see something very cool. Easy, easy street records. Oh, it's like a... Uh, it's like the pad that you put on... Oh. Your, on, your on your turntable. Oh, cool. Let me see that. Oh, look at that. So, Easy Record must be... Um, Easy Street Record. Easy Street Record must we be the hats? record store in Seattle. We got hats. 
Awesome. We got hats. This, these are, this is a care package from Kurt from Seattle. Very cool. Hey, that's a, yeah, a mesh hat. Uh, that's a, that, that's your uh, hat. 70s hat right there, buddy. Oh, we got, we got some uh, peanuts. You want to pop some peanuts? Peanuts? No, oh, peanuts. Sounds like, sounds like firecracker. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just one of I think I I think we got some other one. I would never open a box live on the air. <laughs> well, I can't. Oh, we're up for anything. We ain't scared. We ain't scared. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, the first set of records is in a sack. What do you got there? Oh my, we got... Uh, oh, uh, 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 Jerry Rafferty. Jerry Rafferty. He, oh, I love that album. Baker Street, he knows that's my favorite guitar solo. Very cool. Jerry Rafferty. Oh, wow, look at that. My favorite, <laughs> my, my favorite movie. <laughs> Close again, I, did I even know there was a soundtrack to... Very cool. There's a soundtrack to every movie. Well, I, I know that every now and then I'll find a movie that I'll be like, I wonder what that song is, and, and then I can't find the soundtrack. Very cool. Holy moly. Dang, Kurt, uh, you outdid yourself here. Okay. It's not Christmas. It is. Thank you. Oh, my. Oh my! Oh my! They're like oh my, like stuck together. Like oh, I know, I know that. that there's Taj. What? Chicago? Yeah. Twenty-five. Miles. Which one? Wait, well, they don't number them. Cool. Very cool. Chicago. Oh, look at there. We got another Chicago. Another Chicago. Very cool. What? Okay, now, who's Bev? Well, these are used. Yeah, I think this is like he stole them from his sister or something. Well, no, he when you buy them from the record store, they have writing on them because they're used. This thing last oh, name. Oh, oh, last name. I didn't see the last name. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you steal your sister, Kurt? Did you steal your sister's album? Oh, look at there. We got a John Denver or the, or the kid on Brady Bunch. I can't tell which. All right. Ah. Oh. Very cool. More John Denver. Love it. <laughs> I am going to be getting my turntable pretty soon. As soon as I figure out which one. We got BTO. What was it? It was a sister. Very yeah, cool. This one is Rob's. Rob's BTO. Now we used to play Taking Care of Business. Taking Care of Business. Oh, and every the, day. Oh, here's another one from his sister. Endless summer. Endless summer. Beach Boys. Love the Beach Boys. That reminds me of my endless love. Oh my. Very cool. That is uh dang. Very cool. I, I have a feeling I'm going to have albums. Uh, I'm going to uh, be addicted to buying albums from now on. So okay. uh, so uh, okay. So Todd's pulling out his albums. A couple of my favorites, and I, I I wore them out, so I have a couple of them. This is a iRobot. That's what. Um, and that's when I got turned on Alan Parsons and most of I have more Alan Parsons than anything which is so really so cool tell me so what are some of uh, what were his two big his biggest hits because a lot of people may not even remember Alan Parsons oh um, I say that yeah, let's well uh, on um, I wouldn't want to be like you is on a different album yeah the, the lawyers uh, but what was his big his big one I robot I robot yeah okay. it was just the the Instrumental. Yeah. Do you guys? Uh, I'm sure that it's silly asking our audience on here because they usually know. Chicago on two. <laughs> the Good comments one. are going crazy here. That's all uh, I uh, spin is wax. Who said that? Was that Dave? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Eye in the sky. Eye in the sky, looking for food. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I can read your mind. And then probably my favorite album of all time. Uh, Kansas model up. Yeah, you know, you gotta have two because you can wear them out. That's right, you gotta have two. Actually, one of them's just missing one. Don't ask me why I still have the, the jacket. I don't know. Well, see, that, that's what's cool is then you can frame it. 
Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, without uh, having to have the album. Yeah, and then they had like you know the lyrics, and then <laughs> their goofy pictures. Well, yeah, they looked a little little sophisticated there. Yeah, they were trying to. They were trying to. Um, I've mentioned this before. My very first album, my brother bought me. Doobie. Stampede. Doobies. Uh, I probably. I bet this thing is. This thing's got to be pristine. It's uh, for some reason I didn't play it very much. Huh. I don't know why. If you guys like, um, is it for? It's Foreigner, right? Yeah. We got. We've got Foreigner, and Chicago, both coming to Enid, Oklahoma. So if you guys have ever wanted to see either one of those live uh, in the in the latest rendition of them, they will be in Enid coming up. Just so happens. Oh Just well, so look. Yeah, look at there, Foreigner. And so foreigner wise, it was the um, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but Lou. the guitar player, oh. the original, the guy that started it, he's he's the only original left, but uh, still going to be cool because they sound, uh, they still sound like foreigner when they play. And I was talking to one of the guys the other day at the uh, concert venue that we have in Enid and. I think everybody in town agrees. Sticks was the uh, yeah. best best concert that we've had in Enid. And they're, they're so coming to the zoo, zoo so amphitheater with um, Coldplay. I think. Oh really? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, okay, we got some comments here. We need to address. Let's go back up. Alan Parsons bit. produced the Beatles? the Beatles. I did not know that. I, I wouldn't doubt it. Tales of Mysteries of Imagination. Now that one's kind of dark. Yeah. You know? See, I knew I knew our crowd would know all about. Uh, uh, that's the one. Basically, it's the whole album is based on the Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, really? Yeah. What's Will say there? Uh, hang on, my things different up here. Will. Uh, collect the collective soul. Shall we say it's collective soul? My Cole. favorite album was Disco Duck. Ah. Oh. Disco. I love that. Movie. Guess what? Todd, one of Todd's favorite oh, movies is. Uh, Howard the Howard Duck. Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Doobie Brothers cover, yeah, very cool. Mick Jones, sorry, thanks, Kurt. Yeah, Mick Jones. He, so he'll, they'll be here. I can't remember. I think July, August. August. They'll be here in August. So if you guys want tickets, let me know. If you guys want to fly and come to Enid, Oklahoma, um, we'll take you to the concert. So very cool. Hopefully, I'll probably be there taking pictures. Um, that'll be one of them that I'm gonna probably go take pictures at. Okay, this is not my album. I promise. It's my sister's. Uh, nothing wrong with the Osmonds. Come on, man. <laughs> Oh. So have uh, you guys does any by the lazy river Does anybody out there follow the Duch on Twitter? And I think probably also on Instagram, and I think Dave does. Um if you guys follow Danny Bonaducci, if you'll follow him on his Instagram and his Twitter account, he likes to go into used record stores and he'll go and he'll go through the records and find all the Partridge Family albums. Sign them. And he'll sign one yeah. or two of them. And then he'll take a picture and tell you what the record store is. And then if you happen to be following him, and he goes to different towns because he'll be on like vacation or, or doing something. And so uh, you could snag you a signed Danny Bonaducci. Oh, she in the Easton? Oh, okay. Maybe the other day I was saying... Where I can't, you know, where's my? You hey, know? Cindy Helms just chimed in. Hey, <laughs> she's, she's, hey, don't just don't my Osmond. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Cindy, tell him. Nothing wrong with the Osmonds. Yeah. <laughs> we got Uriah Heat. Yeah, I was wondering where that was. Now this is actually my brother's. That's kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool cover there. Yeah. Back, yeah. Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Look at this. This was probably real little. Oh my, Snoopy versus Red Baron. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, Neil Young. I'm a, I'm a Neil Young fan. That was, that was brothers. Night Ranger, Cheryl, Barry Manilow, another John Denver. Ah, cool, John Denver. Joe Walsh. Ah, Joe Walsh. That's my brother too. Very cool. But, but that's just. I know we had a lot more albums than that, so I don't know where they all went. But I found those looking for the my elusive carpet. And you haven't you haven't found it. I have not found it. Every time I'd open a box, I'm like, oh, here it is, here it is. And it wasn't in there. Well, I tell you, I found mine. I, I mean, so I, so one of the cameras or phones that I'm using right now to video is an old iPhone 7, and it had a cracked screen. And so I decided to get it fixed and do some high-quality 
video for YouTube and I was trying to find that leather case that it's in right there. Yeah. And while I was looking for that leather case is how I found my tin box. Yeah. Because like, it was in a box that looked like it was torn up that I, I didn't think anything worth value would have been in that box because I almost didn't look in the box because I thought, well, there's got to just box? be, there's just got to be trash in that box. And it was a box full of a lot of my really cool stuff and somehow it had gotten crushed and trampled and so I transferred it to a much yeah. prettier, beautiful box. Yeah, so, so it, ne it never fails. You, you, you're looking for something, you can't find it. When you go looking for something else, then you find it. Yeah. Yeah, so let's catch up on uh, you did that. Comment. I think, did Cindy leave another? Uh, well, I think I scrolled up. And uh, okay. Don't dis, don't dis. Yeah, my sister's coming to town. She won't be here for next week. They'll say maybe she could, I don't know, will you be here next Tuesday? Maybe she could be on the podcast. Uh, basement still open for you guys to stay when you're Cindy, here. Cindy Mary Allen Ellen says no Bobby Sherman. No Bobby Sherman. I, I think I think maybe there was a Bobby Sherman album. Cindy Helm, did you have a Bobby Sherman? I would want a signature album by the dude. Yes. Yeah, we still need a girl on the show. Uh, we, we need to get a girl on for yeah. um, a live one of our open forums. Yes, yeah, so my sister says I can't believe you still have all those out. Um, yeah. Hey, ask Cindy, do you have any of Todd's old albums? He's missing some. Some, yeah. I mean... No, no Bobby Sherman. Oh, well. And you know what? I think maybe some of them just wore out and just got unplayable. and probably just pitched them. You know, they'd warp and get so scratched. And Yeah, it's one thing you don't want is a warped album. That's what I'm worried. I'm not sure where uh, the guy that bought my albums, I'm hoping they're not in storage like like an outdoor storage. I hope they're like just stored in his house somewhere that he hasn't unpacked them yeah. yet. So. You can call that cat. Call him. Call him. I don't, I don't want to be too pushy, but yeah, but once I get my turntable, I'm going to be ready to, uh, and then get my new office. I'm going to be ready to be playing some albums. Ow, it's a little tight. My head, too fat. Very cool. Very cool. So Easy Street Records. So you guys, uh, so yeah, it seems like... Uh, so what is Easy Street? I'm guessing it's a record store? I'm, I guess so. It seems like almost every town now has an old-fashioned uh, record store. Uh, they're coming back. Sesame Street album was a good one. I don't remember that one. Oh, Sesame Street album would have been good. Very, very good. Very, uh, very good. I have a hat here today. Actually, I have a hat here every day. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> uh, speaking of Archie, who's hotter, Betty or Veronica? Ooh. Well, Veronica's hotter, but Betty might be the one you'd want to marry, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably. It's been a while since I've... Uh... Have to store albums on end. Don't stack to avoid warping. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Very, uh, very good point. Mike? Thanks for checking in, Michael. Have we said hi to Michael yet? Uh, hi, Michael. Will says Veronica. I'm kind of going with Veronica too. I'm trying to remember which one. Which one was which? Uh, Veronica was the darker haired, I believe. Right? You don't got a. You don't got a comic book. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Uh, but I don't know if surely they're in it. Well, yeah, they'd be in every one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there. I would say that would be Veronica, and I would say that would be Betty. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Veronica. Betty, except on TV show Riverdale. I never watch Riverdale. Might have to, might have to go back and watch some of the old Riverdale episodes. What's what's Archie doing here? So there's a villain. Hey, thanks, Kurt. We appreciate your care package. That was awesome. Yes, very cool. Very, very awesome. So, should we give him our address so he can send more stuff? <laughs> well, you're going to be moving, so. That's why I gave him the P.O. box. Uh, so, yeah, if you're wondering, Kurt, why I gave you the P.O. box is because I've had that P.O. box for probably 30 years. And uh, so if I, wanna, if I want somebody to have an address more permanent, I just give them the P.O. box. And, and the cool thing about our post office is we have these big metal shell things. So if you get a big package, I got a, I've got a small P.O. box where this package would not have fit in, but they'll put it in one of the bigger things and then leave a key in your peel box and then you just go oh. use the key and it opens up the bigger and so so you can send just about anything to the peel box and so that's why I gave you the peel box because I am going to be moving uh. to my old address and I didn't I knew I wasn't going to be moving that quick but uh, gotcha. I don't nobody needs to have my old address 
because eventually I won't be living there. So. Uh, Dave says, have you had any luck getting a celebrity on the podcast? We have not. Um, I've been trying Michael Knight. I've been trying Bonaducci. Um, Michael Knight. Christopher Knight? Christopher Knight. Christopher Knight. Uh, I've been Instagramming him. They're just not responding. And then um, 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 Scott Bayo the other day. Oh. I tried to hit Scott Bayo up on Twitter to see if he might want to be on the show. And uh, again, uh, no Crickets. no response. Wow. So Come on, guys. Help we're gonna, us out. We're going to keep trying. Um, if you guys uh, know of anybody that's going to be in our area, um, we could, like, Run them, track them down, and interview them somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, Cindy, thanks. We, uh, you want to come be on our show? We need, uh, we need a female. We need at least a female guest, like either once a month or once every other month, or at least once a quarter. Yeah, you guys can call them too. They don't have to be here in person. Yeah, maybe we'll do a, a phone in with a female since we can't get one to come on the show. You know how it is getting females around here. <laughs> You're that guy. Shush, shush. Sean Cassidy shush. sounds like a nice guy. Yeah, Sean would be cool to get on. Sean Cassidy. Sean Cassidy. Yeah. Sean Cassidy. Isn't he to do run run? Is that David Cassidy's little brother? Uh step half half brother. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Didn't he do to do run run? I don't know. Oh, Cindy's in Canada. Hey Canuck, thanks for checking in all the way from Canada. Of all, of all the albums, this is the only one that's new. And that's the one. That's so. I've got uh, I've got a list of about ten that I want to get back from my old collection, and that's like number two on the list, mm -hmm. right behind Rumors, Fleetwood Mac Rumors. So, and again, you can buy a lot of these uh, older albums, the really really popular ones. You can buy them new. I think they're running around twenty two to twenty five bucks, brand new. Uh, but then again, you can also go to the record stores and you can buy Muse. So anyway, Susan, Susan checked in, I believe, is checking in on my phone over here. She's watching. Hey, Thanks for checking in. What do you mean on your phone? Well, she, I have both your top two. Uh oh. Uh, rumors and Boston. I bet. If you if you were around in the seventies, you almost had to have those two. Except Todd. Todd never had rumors, did you? No. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't you know, cause, I mean, there's a lot of there was a lot of bands I liked that just didn't have their albums. Well, the same but, with me. I never in in high school. I never had like a Rolling Stones no. or a Who no. or I mean, it was yeah. There was a or Pink Floyd. I, I don't I don't know. There was just uh, we were kind of more Southern rockish. Yeah. That kind of Kansas Leonard Skinner. Yeah, we were kind of more more yeah. Bachman Turner Overdrive. And, and, a, and a lot of the stuff I had was cassettes. Yeah. And then you just kind of, you know, because you kind of quit buying albums because you had your cassette and, you know, you're, because basically, basically when you got to, you got your driver's license, you got cassettes because that's what you could play in the car. Because my first car I 